Quote, which I don't have with me because I never have it. I, I know. I leave it all over. Well, we've sent people to your cell phone number to call, and then I don't think uh, you left it in Bisbee for some time. So yeah, I leave it a lot because at my age you forget shit. Hey, I'm Ryan Cruzy, and this is Cruzy Originals, and we're back working on this building a stunt bike on a budget. I guess that's what we'll call it. And I've got a special guest assistant today, Mr. Smokin' Joe, aka Little Breezy, as he's known in the rap world. You got yourself a nice cup of coffee I there, don't Joe? do that rap shit. Coming here today, Yeah. I got all the CDs that, I got that booze stereo, I told you. Yeah. I put fucking Creedence Clearwater Revival in that, in that, Stereo coming to you this morning, smoked a bowl, and I had that thing. That's when I went sideways. <laughs> but that music, that's the Vietnam. That's the that's my whole era. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I can run into the jungle, and I was zipping along with Bob Seger, that old time rock and roll. Oh, yeah. I put that uh, that song. I don't want to do for 150 miles an hour. <laughs> no. Let's let's get into this because I got some work to do on this bike. <laughs> so we're gonna be doing like a Cruzy Originals dress up kit on this today. We're gonna do the points cover, the air cleaner cover, our derby cover with the built in Delrin slider in it, and we're gonna put our lay down license plate bracket on it. It should be all fairly easy, but this is a 20 year old bike and I have noticed there's a few bits of silicone on some of the gaskets, which always screams quality work to me. That's it, Joe's gonna probably just sit around and talk shit to me while I'm working. No, I'm it'll be a good time. No, now that I you do a your, little protect all in this month. Well, we're not going to paint the bike. No, nope, no. Nope. Uh, so yeah. I am going to shine it while you're doing what you do. I'm going to start this bike when it when I'm done. It'll be good. Oh yeah. Yeah. Joe's got himself a nice coffee cup full of Baileys there. <laughs> He's there. No, it's not full. I wanted a cup of coffee. They got a beautiful Keurig uh, machine over there. I got one home too. The coffee is delicious. No cream, no sugar. I like one little splendor, or half a sugar thing, and cream. They should go to the bar next door. I went to the bar, I was there for a half hour. <laughs> the, the barmaid, her mother was there. Yeah. Only a nice old lady. She looked at me, I looked at her, I said, next thing you know, she's creaming me and putting the bellies in. And, was wonderful. Hell yeah. And now I got a nice cup of coffee and it says, need coffee right now. I don't like Oh, right coffee. meow. Need coffee, right meow. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? It's a cat, see? Right meow. Oh. That's stupid and I don't like the color. <laughs> Pink. Stock points cover is usually Torx bits. Real small torque, real easy. Not even really a reason to have this here other than looks. Just another place to bolt trinkets. All this shit we're gonna throw in the fucking trash. There it is. Look at that. Nothing. Steak. What the hell is that? You could hide shit in there, but you know it's what? Get really it's hot just a melt. place to put something, and they make and these everybody buys a hundred dollars plus docking kit. Yeah, it's bullshit. Look at this. That pisses me off. It's just a trinket. It's a trinket spot. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. Come on, parking lot parts. Stuff that you can buy and then put on in the parking lot yourself. Yeah, right. I'm gonna blow these holes out and get all the old Loctite out of them because this is a small, fragile bolt that you don't want to just go cranking in a hole. This is our uh, points cover. Matches our all of our stuff. Same kind of design. Everything convex deep ashtray kind of looking thing you could use it as a small ashtray if you wanted to comes with stainless steel hardware put a little blue loctite on these guys they don't need a gasket there's nothing behind there like we talked all that shit a minute ago bike <laughs> <laughs> On two bikes, or whatever. Uh, yeah. yeah, you did. You said, yeah, oh, Joe, Joe was here for two days. We went through more microfibers than I've done in my whole career. Right. <laughs> Next time I do the derby cover, I'm going to drain this thing. You don't have to drain the primary change derby cover as long as the bike is on the kickstand. 
If it's sitting straight, actually, if it's sitting straight up and down, it won't leak. If it's on the kickstand, it's gonna piss out. But if you put it straight up and down, you can change the derby cover without changing the primary fluid. But we just bought this bike, so I don't get, anytime you buy a bike, you should change every single fluid, no matter what anybody tells you when Thanks. you bought it. Don't believe anything anybody says. Put all new fluids in a motorcycle immediately when you buy the son of a bitch. Yeah. So I'm changing all that right now, getting two birds stoned at once, you know? That's my motto. The first thing, no matter what oh, I man. buy, the first thing I did when I got that Corvette, I took it and I had the oil change with Mobile One, and I had uh, the train change. Oh, uh, and that's why changed. you change it. Look how black that son of a bitch is. That ain't been changed in a minute. No, see, that's no good, man. It's got stock shit in it, C27. We will not be using any of this stuff. Our stuff comes with all its own hardware. Mm, that coffee is really good. I, I wonder why. <laughs> got a little extra something in there. I'm gonna put it right here on my lip. That could not be more important than to clean the threads out of anything, especially when you're working with aluminum. Blow it out, run a thread chaser through it, get that shit clean. You just go cranking bolts in there with a bunch of old Loctite dirt, whatever's in there, you're most likely gonna f up what you're doing. That's for sure. I'm going to install one of our Cruzy Originals Derby covers. Comes complete with a Delrin slider, all that good stuff. We'll do this in a step-by-step, -step, all the hardware. Always use a new derby cover gasket. It doesn't come with a gasket. You got to get that yourself. This rubbery part goes against the primary. This little guy, there's a triangle one that goes on top. See that? Put one bolt through it. Grab my tools that I forgot to get out. Brian, these, these bands and irons pipes are in great shape. You could sell these for some money. Yeah. What do you do with shit like that when you take it off? It usually just sits in a pile on the back of the shop. No, that's no good. And that's why I gotta be here because that's a waste. Somebody would love to have these on their motorcycle for a hundred bucks. I put that guy in there loose. I put this one in loose because you don't just go cranking down one bolt and then expecting the other ones to fit. That's common sense, but you'd believe how little the common sense flows in the do-it-yourself world. I'm gonna get all these guys in nice and loosely because if I was to go crank that, put that top one in and crank it down, now this thing's gonna sit all out and bound out and then you're gonna cross thread in bolts and then you're gonna break them and then you're gonna go, what the hell man, my bolts broke. Cause I have no business working on a motorcycle. Look at that, how beautifully everything lines up. I'm gonna snug that guy down just a little bit. Uh, I gotta retire. I'm gonna today. snug this guy down just a little bit. And I'm gonna snug this guy down just a little bit. And this guy down just a little bit. And then I'm gonna snug this guy down just a little bit. See how smoothly they all go in when you do them all loosely as one. Now that they're all set, these are 90 to 120 inch pounds. I'm just gonna make them tight because I know what I'm doing. Normally on these, I don't like to use a torque wrench because I just like to feel them because they're usually real f***ed off. You got 20 years of derby covers being put off and on. When you're doing small bolts like this, it's about fingers, not hands. All that I can say is, you know what? Working with your hands sets you free. My father told me that too. My father told me a lot of shit. I didn't listen to none of it. But now it's coming back to me a little bit. <laughs> and I start remembering shit a little bit. It's true. Like, man, I guess what I'm saying. I understand what he was coming by, what he was coming with now, huh? A little bit of blue Loctite on this guy. Loctite's your friend. I'm going to very lightly start this one. I'm not going to go crank that one down because guess what? Once you crank this one down, you just bound the other one. That's why you get them both started. And then you snug them down. And then everything's even and beautiful. Sounds to me like you've done a few of these, man. I have. I do. <laughs> I work with the old common sense factor, too, that uh, slacks on most of them. Most of them that is cool, right there. Now watch this. Now I know, and we all know, that that's going to be protected. Oh, look at that. Cool. This shiner up on the Yeah, but it looks good on that bike. Yeah. I thought I used to 
so if any if God made anything better than motorcycles, women, or fast cars. Fast cars, fast women, or fast motorcycles, he kept it to himself. Yeah. You get a good woman and that good and, and a motorcycle, you set. Get a fucking job, <coughs> work hard, and you're good, man. Baby, I'm, I'm there for you. What the f did I do, me and Billy Reardon? We went in my father's closet and got a bottle of fucking rum Ugh. and drank the fucking half a bottle of fucking rum. <laughs> we walked from my house to Franklin Square, got to the church. I passed out in the parking lot and threw up all over my new fucking. I had a new suit. I, my mother, I had a new overcoat, nice overcoat, winter time. I puked over everything, <laughs> passed out in the parking lot, and I laid there till about three o'clock in the morning. My, my, thank God my girlfriend didn't see that. Yeah. They went home figuring I just stood her up. Meanwhile, I'm laying in the fucking parking lot, <laughs> ten feet from... It was a disaster, but that taught me. Yeah. Don't fucking drink rum. No. No. <laughs> She wanted me to take her to the senior prom. The prom! Yeah. Everybody gets all dressed up. That wasn't my thing. But I promised her I would take her. I, about three hours before the prom, I had my buddy call up and say, Joe, did something happen? Joe ain't around. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I stood her up for the prom. Now, yeah. she had the dress. I'm sure she had the whole suit. She remembers that to this day. I f***ed that up. She didn't deserve that. And I would never do that again, because that's not nice. All right, I'm going to shut up, because now I need a drink of water and a little more scooter, and I'll be back. <laughs> well, I'm gonna install our air cleaner cover. <laughs> you just, if you've got any kind of, this is a Screaming Eagle intake, if you've got an Arlen S Big Sucker, any kind of these general style round, round type filters. The s, s one, it fits everybody's shit. Center bolt comes with an ARP stud. It's all billet aluminum, it's powder coated. It is not uh, whatever that shit is that fades in the sun. Anodized. Anodized, yeah. We don't really f with anodized in Arizona because, man, it's hot. There's a lot of sun out here, and this thing would be purple or gold within three minutes of being in the parking lot. You should lock tight this guy a little bit. I'm gonna pull this off and rebuild this carburetor. This is a, a general look at what's going on here. Man, look at that bad boy. Now look how much nicer, cleaner that looks. It fits perfectly over the filter covers that bullshit that sticks out. It looks stylish. This comes in red, blue, gold, raw aluminum. I have the raw aluminum on my stunt bike. I like that's kind of my favorite actually. It looks pretty nasty. They all come in all those fancy colors. If you want to do something fancier, buy a raw one. Take it to a powder coater yourself. That works out pretty good. Uh, next we're going to move on to the license plate bracket. This one's going to be real easy because we don't have a license plate for this. but. You do have to cut the license plate down, but I'll show you how to do that too. I think that's it. Moving on to the next step, phase two. Look at this guy. So I've got, this is our lay down license plate kit. It works for just about everything Harley Davidson. It is made for the narrower fenders, the old school stuff. Where's my damn knife? So it bolts right up to these guys. You can run it on a late model wider fender, but you kind of got to shape it just a little bit. And I'll show you about what I'm talking about with that shit too. This comes with all the hardware, everything you need. Wow, look at these guys, isn't that custom? All right, now that I got all the Hell Yeah Brother chrome dongs out of there. So on the late model ones, this curve is a little aggressive for the late model fender. But like I said, it still works. I normally put it on my leg and give it a little, straighten it out just a little bit and it'll meet the curve. Or it comes with this rubber piece, but you can take the factory rubber piece and put it on here too and stack two of them and then it'll work great with any fender pretty much after that. I have one on my bagger, I have one on my soft gel. It has a gigantic wide back fat tire. That's it, she bolts up just like that. The license plate, you do have to cut down the license plate because this is smaller. You just cut around the colored part of the license plate and cut it in nice and neat and then put it up in there. And uh, don't be that fucking pussy that's like, I can't cut my license plate. Are you sure that's even legal? Who fucking cares? <laughs> Come on. Goddamn thing's so low to the ground, I can't get my fucking hand up in here though to put the bolts on the back. Yeah. All right, well, don't run some whack-ass suspension like this. 
and you can just easily bolt these guys onto the back of this. It bolts right on and you're done. Look at that, I'm already done, it's that easy. I'm gonna put these on when I put real shocks on. I can fit my hand in here. Yeah, it's not happening. Girthy hands. Well, that's it, Cruzy Originals dress up kit. It's not really a kit, we sell them each piece individually, but I mean, if you buy every one of them at the same time, then you'd be buying a kit, basically. Comes with all the shit you need. Most of the stuff is in stock almost all the time. We keep it pretty readily available. We do sell a load of these, so they kind of come and go fast. But other than that, they are, uh, they're here. They're ready to go. This bike will be for sale when it is done. We are going to build this thing with every one of our parts on it. I'm going to build a custom exhaust for this too. Stealth exhaust sent me a bunch of bends and different mufflers, so I'm gonna build a one-off stealth for this basically, and then I think they might manufacture that and have like a cruisy signature Dyna pipe, which would be pretty dope. So it's gonna have a custom exhaust. We're gonna put T-Sport sh or a DX shocks in the back of it that are fresh. Get her nice and styling. Saddleman is making me a seat for it already. I talked to Chris from Saddleman yesterday. It's actually in the works and probably have it pretty soon. We're gonna get her all fancied up, go through, service it, and we're gonna continue to put out step-by-step -step videos of all of our parts and how to put them on here. I am out of stock on subframes or I would be cutting a subframe into the back of this thing too, but hopefully we get them in in time to get this bike done. But like I said, stay posted, like, subscribe. This will be for sale when it is done. It is an O2 FXDX with 30,000 miles. And we're gonna go through and check everything out so you can see the whole deal and see it all be built and all that good shit. So like, subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss any of this because then you won't know what the fuck is going on. You know what I'm saying? Yerd? I'm Ryan Cruzy, this is Cruzy Originals. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate the fuck out of it. You guys are pretty rad. Peace.